I've been using Shift at these last few years to manage Windows on my Mac, but this year I wanted to put an emphasis on using my keyboard more and my mouse less. In this video, I'll show you the three phases I've went through in managing Windows on my Mac. Phase one is manually moving around Windows. So if I have this window and I want to have it side by side with another, I've got a few options. I can drag it like this, and this is a nightmare and I avoided this a long time ago. One slightly better way to do this is in Mac OS, I think a few versions ago, they added the ability to tile left and right. But I always found that doing this felt a little clunky to me. So that's phase one. Phase two is using something like Shift It to manually manage your windows. So I used Shift It for a few years, um, but about a year ago, they said that they were looking for a new maintainer and I realized I should probably consider switching. And one of the things they recommended was Hammerspoon. So I installed Hammerspoon and I've configured it and this is my configuration for Shift It. So you load this spoon and then you've got your handful of hotkeys. So I have Control Alt Command left to move the window to the left half of the screen, right for right, up, down, and then I use Return to maximize and then I can use I can add shift to it to go to the next screen. So just to show that off, I have this window focused, command alt control left will take up the left half and then I can grab my mouse and go to the right half, left half, up, down, or enter to take the full screen or add shift to that to jump around. So this year when I started trying to prioritize using my keyboard more and my mouse less, I realized that shift it probably wasn't going to cut it for that. So I began looking to see if there was a better way to move focus from window to window purely with my keyboard. And that led me to look into Yabai. And I tried Yabai and uh, it had a lot of promise and everyone was speaking very highly of it. But at least on macOS Monterey beta, I found it kind of clunky. And then after using it for a bit, I realized that I was having a weird interaction with Better Touch Tool. And so I disabled Better Touch Tool and it got a bit better yet. Um, but I still had a few challenges and couldn't quite get it to work smoothly. And that led me to Chris Capick's video. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, and he mentioned Amethyst in that video. And so that had me start to look into Amethyst. He was actually coming from Amethyst to Yabai, um, but I looked into Amethyst and it seemed to match what I wanted to do pretty well. And so that's what I've been using uh, for these last few weeks or, or almost a month at this point. So let me walk you through how I use Amethyst to manage my windows. So I've got focus on VS Code here on the right. If I press hyper return, it's gonna move it into full screen mode. If I press hyper return again, it's gonna to toggle me back into this side by side view. This is gonna give me up to two columns side by side. And then for each window after that second window, it's gonna go on this right hand column. So let me open Obsidian. And you'll notice that VS Code takes up less room and then makes room for Obsidian. If I were to hide Obsidian, it's gonna go back to taking two columns. So let me hide that. There you go, there's your two columns. So the, some of the other things that I use is if I hold hyper and press S and D, I can change which, which window is focused. So S is gonna take me back a window, D is gonna take me forward a window. If I use F, it's gonna move my keyboard focus over to my left hand monitor. Um, well, actually it'll take me to the right, but I only have two monitors, so it just toggles around. If I press A, it's gonna do the same thing. So it's take me back to my, to my previous monitor. So the scenario I'm trying to emulate here is how I use H, J, K, L for my arrow keys with Hyper, but being able to do that in different areas of the keyboard. So basically left, like the leftmost key will take me left, the next one from the left will take me down, next will take me up, and then the next to the right. And so I emulate that with Hyper A, S, D, F for moving window focus, so S and D will move me back and forth on the current window, A and F will change me to my previous and next window. And the last thing I use is down a row, I can use Z, X, C, and V to move windows around. So currently I have VS Code focused. If I hit hyper C, it's gonna move it clockwise one window. And so let me open up Obsidian again, just so I have three. So Obsidian is currently focused. If I hit hyper C, it's gonna move, excuse me, it's counterclockwise with C. It's gonna move counterclockwise one. And then if I press X, it's gonna go clockwise one and eventually it'll occupy that largest space on the right. One other thing I use is hyper with plus and minus to increase the size of the main window. So if I hit hyper plus, that main window is gonna get larger and the side windows are gonna get smaller. If I use minus, I can make that smaller. So this allows me to manipulate everything but without having to grab each window individually. Um, one other tip while I've got you here is I also then use what are called O-launching 
keyboard shortcuts to jump focus to specific windows. So I could use hyper plus D and S to move focus. So like if I'm trying to get to obsidian here, I could tap it a couple times and get to it, or I can just hold O and tap D and then it'll immediately focus obsidian. So I've got that set up in carabiner elements. And if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll put a video up on that. So to close out, let me just show you my amethyst preferences. So if I go up here and choose preferences, it's gonna float over the top. So um, hyper plus enter is gonna toggle between layouts. So that's gonna take me between that full screen mode and that tall mode that I'm in right now. I can shrink panes with hyper minus and hyper plus. I can move focus forward and backwards with S and D. And then I can change which monitor has focus with F and A, like I was showing you earlier. And then the last few are swapping the focused window. So this is what's actually moving windows around. I can use Z and V to switch which monitor is focused. And I can use C and X to move those windows around on said monitor. Some other preferences that I have set in here is if I go under mouse, I have mouse follows focused window, and that's just an easy way to get an indicator of which window is currently focused without having to look up here. It's also especially helpful if you have multiple windows within the same app. Um, I have just those two layouts that I was showing you earlier, and then I just have zero padding between each window. And that's it for my Amethyst preferences. If you'd like some more macOS productivity tips, please hit the subscribe button below, and there's also a playlist of those right up here. Thanks, have a good one.